Hi, this is KHIT Tutorials, and um, we are now starting the uh, Hackbook Pro project. So, um, first we will restore the um, OS 10.6.3 install DVD to a pen drive if you want. Uh, that is necessary if you um, want to have a fast installation or um, if you need to install onto a MBR formatted disk and uh, enabling dual booting uh, with Windows 7 without deleting the original uh, HP Windows 7. So uh, I have already done this but I will show you in a quick way how to do it and then you will need uh, Tony Mac x86 iBoot. Uh, link is uh, on Insanely Mac. Uh, forms. Uh, I put a link in the description for the uh, specific form thread. And um, they have all the download links for uh, necessary text and uh, packages will be there. Also the multi beast uh, installer. So you will need iBoot and your 10.6.3 install DVD. It is important that this 10.6.3. I have tried with a friend of mine's 10.6.0 DVD, and uh, it crashes when trying to update OS 10 to a later version than 10.6.0. So 10.6.3 is the version you are going to need. Uh, this also works with uh, the distributions like Ayatkos and uh, Hazard and what they are all called. Uh, only difference is that you will need a legacy kernel for those as the systems have been modified in such a way so you cannot just use the stock vanilla kernel as I'm doing on my uh, Core i3 um, Hackintosh or uh, Hack Pro or what you want to call it, and uh, that's also the kernel I will be using in uh, my Hackbook Pro. Um, so all necessary texts and software is in the Insanely Mac thread, and um, now we're gonna hit and open Disk Utility, go into Applications, Utilities, and Disk Utility. And uh, sorry for this being the Danish user account, I just needed to make this first part of the f tutorial fast so we can get started with the installation of uh, OS 10. So this will be the preparation so and next part will be installing OS 10. So and I will just run through everything. All the thing you want to see in the videos will be my um, background or my introduction screen or what you want to call it. This comes at every beginning of every video. And um I will there will the only introduction I will give will be the text there what we're going to do in this tutorial. So you will need an OS 10 install DVD 10.6.3 I have an image here that was the image I made of my uh, DVD so it is ready to go and um, <coughs> yes also we'll need a USB mouse um, you can use a USB keyboard if you want but the reason you need the mouse is that the trackpad is uh, originally a Synaptics clickpad version 7.4 also explained in the tutorial on Sega Mac which I made. Um, but uh, OS 10, the CAX, the PS2 CAX, uh, recognizes the trackpad as an uh, Synaptics touchpad version 7.4, which means you have hardware buttons separated from the touchpad area, which we not have on the clickpad. So um, we will not be able to use the normal hardware click button functionality as we know it from Windows. But um, there's some good things that uh, two finger scrolling, both vertical and horizontal, works out of the box. And uh, after uh, installing OS 10 and um, setting a little option in system preferences, we can use uh, we can click by tapping the touchpad, and we also have a uh, tap touchpad with two fingers for right click. So uh, that works. But anyway. Um, first, you're gonna open your pen drive. I have it's 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 a must to have an eight gigabyte drive because the image file, uh, when it's copied, uses uh, about seven point seven gigabytes or was it seven point three? I can't actually remember. Anyway, select your pen drive you plugged in. Go to partitions and select one partition, and uh, s just na leave the name as it is and set format to Mac OS Extended Journal. And under here, under preferences, show you our settings. It must be GUID. Uh, 
to work. If you don't have any blank CD to burn iBoot, you just select two partitions and the first partition uh, should be about 200 megabytes and the rest of it will be for Rustent. Make sure both of them are extended journaled, leave the names as they are. And um, on this you restore iBoot as the first and on this you restore OS 10. Or um, all the way around, I don't know because I will be I will be using um, the method for using iBoot as CD and OS 10 on the pen drive, and um, that will be it. So after that, you go into your DMG file, double click it here, and um, click on here the Mac OS 10 install DVD, and go to restore and make sure that this is the um, source and your pen drive position will be called until 1 or something it must be in here destination then you cl click make sure if you're not using lion to select the delete button here or erase uh, button and click restore enter your password and it took about half an hour for me to restore the uh, OS 10 install DVD after restoration, if you want to install dual boot uh, without deleting Windows, you will need our MBR, some MBR patched files. I have them here. It's OS install, a meta package file, and uh, a file inside the system, and a README file which will tell you where to put the specific files. And yes, the folders are hidden folders, so you have to press Command Shift and G to uh, put the files where you want to have them. So. After restore and MBR patching is done, you can just uh, remove the drives and um, now we are ready to burn iBoot. You can burn it from Windows or Mac OS, uh, how I want it. And uh, now we are ready to install OS 10, which I will be showing you right in a minute. This will be the next video.